Hello everyone out there on YouTube land, and people watching. This is John, and again, I'm going to be doing a fast food review. Today, I'm at the glorious land of Arby's. Um, interestingly enough, what I've heard is they have the meats. Anyway, today's meat is a fish sandwich which I find particularly interesting that a fast food place not typically known for their fish sandwiches or their seafood in general is offering a new fish sandwich and it's not uh, Lent time it is August 5th 2020 um, maybe they were planning on having this during the Lent time and the COVID hit and kind of screwed up with their planning and their distribution of it. And now that it's finally done, they have all this fish that needs to be um, sold. So maybe that's why it's coming out now. Or maybe for some reason, Arby's thought, hey, what would be a great idea in August is a new fish sandwich. But this is the beer battered fish sandwich from Arby's. Um, if you've seen me review fish from Arby's before, typically I haven't really enjoyed it, and it's usually because the uh, shredded lettuce gets wilted very quickly on a hot, greasy fish piece. But if you look closely, you'll see there's the fish piece. It has a yeah, relatively thick batter to it. You see like there's like a, a, a pretty dark burnt part right there in the middle. So what is on this? Looks like a brioche bun, tartar sauce, fish, tomatoes, lettuce, and there's a pickle there, and more tartar sauce on the bottom. This was six dollars and twenty eight cents before any taxes were added. Once again, I got this delivered. Um, try not to go out as much. And for being delivered, it does look like it was made fresh. The lettuce has not yet wilted. So I'm going to go ahead and take a bite out of this right now. That exterior is very crunchy. According to the menu, the beer batter fish is a limited time offer. It has a beer batter fish, shredded lettuce, tomato, pickle sliced tartar sauce on a brioche bun. Crispy beer battered cod, so it's codfish. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, tartar, toasted brioche. It's our exciting new take on the fish sandwich. Exciting because it has real beer in it. New because it is. So... There's actually real beer in the beer batter. It's a pretty thick piece, as you can see. It tastes fresh. The batter really gives it a good crunch. The crunch is, is really crunchy on the edge, at least. Once you bite through the edge, the middle is not so crunchy. Now it's falling apart. Since it fell out, let's take a look at that piece of fish. I'm trying to detect what flavor I can get out of the batter. The batter itself, flavor-wise, is fine. It has a different texture than like the kind of like breaded fried fish sandwiches you get a lot of times. It kind of has like a sandpapery exterior. This one has more of that uh, uh, batter where it feels like it's inside of like this envelope of uh, I don't know, almost like a crispy cakey kind of exterior. The, fi the fish itself, thick, juicy in the middle. You get the, a nice flavor of fish, not like old fish taste, but like a fresh fish flavor. 
The lettuce on this is nice and fresh. It has not wilted at all. Crispy, not slimy. Probably the best fish sandwich I've had at Arby's. Um, the worst probably being the fish and cheddar. The fish and the cheddar just really didn't go together very well. But this one, it's a simple beer battered fish, lettuce, tomato, pickle, tartar sauce on the soft brioche bun. I gotta say, um, in the past, I've not been impressed with Arby's fish. This one is really good. I think a combination of it just being fresh, having uh, everything about it is fresh the lettuce, the tomato, the bun, the fish itself. It really looks like it was battered and fried right now when I ordered it. And the flavor is good. You get the tangy zip of the tartar sauce and the pickle. You get the freshness of the lettuce and the tomato. The brioche bun is, has a butteriness to it, a little bit of sweetness in the bun, but not as sweet as their Hawaiian roll. If you are in the market for a fish sandwich, currently, I would say this is probably the most, the best one that's easily accessible. Uh, it's not there, quite there with the, the Culver's fish sandwich. Um, but they have mastered that and they have that on the menu all the time. This is new. Uh, I think it's a really good uh, uh, new item to have. And I think if this was during the Lent season, this would probably really be selling well. I'm curious to see how in this late summer, how fried fish sandwich is going to be doing in the market. Uh, I don't know if Arby's will ever release those kind of numbers, but maybe depending on, you can probably tell depending on how long this limited time offer stays, or if they start reducing the price of it, or where they try to like remarket it as something else. But I like this fish sandwich. I think if you enjoy good fish sandwiches, you're going to like this. Um, so I'm going to give this an eight and a half out of 10. It's a good fish sandwich from Arby's beer batter fish, eight and a half out of 10. That's the review. Hope you like it. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the fat hipster on YouTube. Um, very close to that thousand subscriber mark. So if you subscribe, you might be that thousandth person. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. See you later. Bye.